Hi guys, in this video I will show you a linear and binary search in Python. This is first video in the series searching and sorting in which I will show you these common algorithms in Python. So I will begin by linear search. This is the list of numbers. Now I will take an input number from the user to find its index. After that I will create a boolean named flag and initialize it to false. After that I will create a for loop to iterate through the list of numbers. The upper limit of this loop will be the length of the list numbers. Now I will check whether the current number is equal to the input number by the user. If this condition is true, that means we have found the number and then I will print the index of that number. After that I will turn the boolean flag equal to true. And then I will break from the loop. If in case the number is not present in the list, then the flag will remain false and by using that false condition we can print that the number was not in the list. Let me add some more instructions here. So this is the code for linear search. Let's check. It says enter the number. I will enter 49. And the output is number found at index 5. Now I will enter a number that is not present in the list. For example 8. The program says number not found. So now let's move on to binary search. Now I will write the code for binary search. For binary search the list of numbers should be sorted. You can use dot sort method on any list. For this tutorial I will initialize the sorted list. So this is a sorted list. I will remove this code. Now I will create a function for binary search. It will have the parameters of list and the number. In the function I will initialize three index. The first index will be named as first and I will initialize it with zero. Then I will create the index last and initialize it with the last index. Then I will initialize the third index mid which represents the middle index. So before moving forward I will first explain you how binary search works. So this is the first index, this is the last index and this is the middle index and this is the number given by the user of which we will find the index. So the middle index is calculated by adding first and last and dividing it by 2. As the middle index is an integer, it will point towards the fourth position or the third index. The value at the middle index is less than the number, so the next step would be reassign first as middle plus 1. After that we will recalculate the middle index and it will point to this value. As this current value is equal to the number given by the user, we will stop here and return the index. There could be another scenario in which the number given by the user is less than the value present at the middle index. Let me demonstrate it now. Let the number be 14. So 14 is less than the value present at the middle in index. Now the next step would be to reassign last as mid minus 1. So it will point to this value. After that we will recalculate the middle index and the middle index will point to this value. As the current value is equal to the number given by the user we will stop here and return the index. There could be a third scenario in which the number is not present in the list. 
in that case first will definitely increase from last and we will stop the loop and return minus 1 so now let's get back to the code now I will create a while loop with the condition first less than equal to last every time this loop iterates we will calculate the middle index using this formula first plus last divided by 2 now I will check whether the number is greater than the value present at the middle index if this condition is true I will reassign the first to mid plus 1 and in the else if condition I will check whether the value present at the middle index is greater than num in this case I will reassign last as mid minus 1 and if both this condition is not true that means that we have found the number so in the else part I will return the index if the number is not present in the list then this condition will break the first will become greater than last in that case after the while loop I will return minus 1 now I will call the function and pass the list of numbers and the number to find the index of the return index will be stored in LOC variable if LOC not equal to minus 1 that means the number was found then I will print the index of the number in the else condition I will print the number not found so this is the code for binary search now I will run the code I will enter the number 76 and it displays number found at index 6 I will rerun the code this time I will enter 11 which is not present in the list and it displays number not found so this is it guys I hope you like the video please like share and subscribe and I will meet you in the next video